11日午後の、えー、と NHNRB のロックセッションを始めさせていただきたいと思います。私、このセッションの座長を手伝っております、名、え、工、ー、大の目と申します。よろしくお願いいたします。でえーと発表、えー、ご存知かと思いますけど、発表時間は10分で、えー、余礼は残り2分の段階でなります。で、えー、終了と5分で、えー、3例がなりまして、終了ということになります。で次の講演者の方は、こちらに控えの席がございますので、よろしくお願いします。Okay. Geolocation techniques in outdoor wireless network environment、uh, benefited by Mahabha Electric Cardinal Ajit from Jack. Please start. Good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Thank you very much for coming in my presentation. My name is Mohamed Reza Karajis. I belong to Information Theory and Signal Processing Lab in JAIS, Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. In this opportunity, I would like to present our research regarding monitoring spot configurations of RSS based vector graph geolocation technique in outdoor wireless sensor networks and p r o m i s I would like to emphasize、uh, about outdoor and the monitoring spot configurations area. Okay, the outline of my presentation is. Uh, first, motivation, and then second,、uh, receive signal strength, RSS based factor graph, and simulation results, and then conclusions. Yeah, the motivation is with the sub increase in the utilization of radio, monitoring of radio, and efficient use of radio has become an important time. So, as we know that. Uh, geolocation techniques has been researched for a long time ago. But、uh, actually, almost past two, day, two decades,、yeah. the wireless geolocation research has increased very considerable attention for many researchers. And then the factor graph coming around the、uh, coming,、uh, past decade. And that's in 2001 by s i n g s a n in information theory, a section in IEEE. And then after that,、uh, around two years after that, the factor graph is、uh, adopted to the wireless geolocation technique. And then in this presentation, in this presentation why we use RSS based geolocations? Because the RSS parameters、yes, it is robust to multipath. Effects due to the、uh, non line o f f s e t environment. And basically, the RSS based location is for indoor because the indoor environment, many places, is、uh, non loss environment. But in this case, we want to apply it in outdoor area. In our reference,、uh, it's applied in indoor for, around,、uh, for the area around. The area weighs around、uh, 12 times 12 meters. And in our case, we will apply it in the area around 1 kilometer times kilometer meter square. And also, the RSS measurements have been already in IEEE standard. Why <coughs> factor graph? Because factor graph gives us the low complexity of the systems. The factor graph factorizes the global function into local function. To simple function. And then、uh, the message passage in photograph in the form only in mean and variance. In this case, we assume in Gaussian.、Yeah. <laughs> Because we get multiple effects of the independence factors, the、yeah, rationality can be assumed as Gaussian distribution. So in this, in this case,、uh, the measurement error is in Gaussian measurement. And measurement error. And then,、uh, The factor graph also, as will, also will、uh, exchange the message、yeah. in the, between the node, between the factor node and the variable node, iteratively and effectively. So, this is like、uh, this is a turbo processing because this is an iterative algorithm. 
if we, if we see, if you read the factor graph, usually factor graph also used in uh, channel coding, yeah, like LDPC and etc. In this case, we use in the geolocation technique. Okay, this is the basic setup. Yeah, this is the sensors, three sensors. The three sensors get uh, information, uh, receive, receive signal strength from target, and also from monitoring spot. And then uh, the measurement is sent to the fusion center. So the, algorithm, the algorithms is working in the fusion centers. So in this type of audit, this technique is how this monitoring spot get send the uh, signal training to the sensors and then apply you know, the least square to get the linear flame equations. And this monitoring spot will uh, approximate the RSS profile of this area of monitoring. <coughs> one kilometer times one kilometer. And in this case, we use the least square, so the approximation is based on linear flame. Because this is the outdoor, when compared to one kilometer, <coughs> we assume this is long average, averaging. So this is only, live only part loss only. This eliminates the this eliminates the uh, fadings, uh, fadings, instant stenosis fadings, and the shadowing fading. Now this is the factor graphs. This is the input, the RSS samples, for example, 100 samples. And then in this factor graph, we make the distributions, Gaussian distribution, and we take the mean and variance in this variable node. And this is the, the factor node, <coughs> Make the give the crucial function to convert the RSS information to the uh, x and y coordinate of the target. How 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 they do this? So this use the linear equation. You can see this is uh, we can see this is x and y and the RSS. With these equations, we can convert the RSS information to x and y and iteratively exchange in between this. Factor node and variable node. How we get these linear equations? Okay, linear equations <coughs> we use by the monitoring spot data. Monitoring, monitoring spot data send the training signals for a long time, a lot of, a lot of uh, data. So this is error free, error free. So we apply the monitoring spot positions and the RSS of monitoring spots, and in the, in the matrix, it will be like this, and we apply the least square. So, after that, we get the coefficient of the linear equations. Finally, we get the, the, the final equation, Ixx plus Ay Ay plus App equal to constant. In this case, constant is one, because we only working in the mean and variance, it's, so we find the mean and variance uh, models, approximations. This is the mean and this is the variance. We use this mean and variance to send the message from the factor node A to the X and Y position, X and Y variable node. <coughs> okay, what happens in Iterations, iterations we will uh, send back to the factor node A after it's converted. After it's converted, we will multiply using the sample that algorithm. And we, we obtain the X and Y position. And this, in this case also, we use the model of pet loss. We use the pet, uh, pet loss exponents and 3, D, 0, 100, and frequency in 1 giga. What's the result? We evaluate uh, the area of monitoring spot from 100 times 100 meter until up to 800 times 800 meter square. In 200 times 200, this is approximate is near to the target, it's very almost same. <coughs> but in 800, 800, there is a gap, big gap. So in this case, in many iterations, in several, uh, only few iterations, uh, the 100 
Spend 200 million on spots, yeah, Manchester Square can achieve the targets. Accurate, but you know, 800 times 800 meter square cannot achieve the target position. So this is the monetary spot uh, RMAC. For 100, 10 to 100 is around one meter square uh, the accuracy. And then the RMAC of 200 to 100 is around two meters. But for 100, it's 100 times 100, 300 times 300, and 800 times 800 is more. We are around 200 meters of the <coughs> So the conclusion is, we have been successfully evaluated the RSS, the RSS tachographs in outdoor environments. We want to apply it in outdoor environments. And then the smaller area of monitoring spot around target, the higher accuracy is obtained. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any question or comments for this presentation? Thank you very much for your questions. In my simulations, as we know that uh, there is a three fadings, bubble fadings, and shadowing fadings, and instantaneous fadings. In this uh, research, in these simulations, we still assumed that we will do long enough averaging. Then this will eliminate the instantaneous fading and the uh, shadowing fading. Only remain the Fatmos fading. So in this case, we still based on the Fatmos exponent model. Any questions or comments? Uh, in this study, uh, you use uh, numerical Analysis or performance evaluation? This graph, uh, you get this graph by numerical analysis. Uh, uh, do you have a plan uh, for assessing by simulation or uh, experiment? Oh, so this is by simulations. Small area. Yeah, small area. Area. Uh, 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 area. Uh, uh, oh, it's a small But in large field, uh, even if the uh, quality is good, but uh, area is even. Yeah, because the approximation uh, is not not poor, uh, not say not similar to the actual RSS mm -hmm. profile. When they use the big area, <coughs> so the linear linear plants will uh, follow the mountain spot. It's far away from the target. Mm. That's why the gap is much uh, worse. Uh, mm. Correct. Do you have a plan to uh, decrease decrease <laughs> the area in in large condition? In this case, we will use the
and uh, actually I don't uh, really familiar with this field but I want to know is there any other technique uh, regarding this problem and how do you compare with if yes and how do you compare what's the comparison between your technique and the Actually, uh, the RS is after the ARS is techniques uh, already many things like split square and I guess conventional things. In this case, uh, we still uh, evaluate the current photograph, current photograph because the current photograph already uh, made for indoor only. So maybe the next times uh, we will compare to the other techniques and uh, <coughs> some uh, several. Uh, let's move to the next 